covered the convenience boat as well as the bow rider boat in the last two episodes of my series. Today we're here to talk about my favorite type boat, which is the wakeboard or wake surf boat. Now there is another type boat, which is the ski boat, but traditional ski boats are being a little bit phased out because of the demand for other water sports that have been created over time. Wakeboarding was next, and then wake surfing today is the most popular water sport. So manufacturers have changed the way that they create these boats. And then luxury has also been in demand, so that's been incorporated into these boats as well. But come along with me and I'll take you through some of the features on these. I'm going to go ahead and take y'all through the Nautique Paragon G23. After all, Nautique was the pioneer at engineering a completely different hull design than we saw boats previous, displacing a lot more water for sports like wake surfing and wakeboarding. Moving on to some technology that works in conjunction with the hull. This is the Nautique Configurable Running Surface, and it helps shape your wake or wave as well as helps get your boat on plane. The Nautique surf system is comprised of wave plates on both sides of the boat that push outward and downwards to give you the best wake surf wave in the industry with capability of seamlessly switching from side to side. The surf pipe ensures that your exhaust is bubbled and pushed behind the rider. Steering assist has provided exceptional maneuverability whether you're docking tight quarters or looking for enhanced control in the open lake. When's the last time you saw a swim platform with cup holders built in? Now that we've made it on the back transom of the boat, it might be time for a drink from the cooler back there, or might want to take lounging in the next level with these nice reclining seats that pop up. Or Now that you've beached your boat, maybe it's time to take your internal cooler off the boat. Your standing drinks aren't the only thing you'll be storing. There's storage underneath all the hinge seats from nose to tail the boat with sea deck underneath. And with all the ballast being subfloor, you'll have even more storage in your lockers. And it's as simple as touching a button whenever you need to lower or raise your tower. So in situations where you need to go underneath a little bridge or get your boat in a garage, you are set. Full shade coverage, check. Now that we've finally made it to the helm, you'll be greeted by dual link panorama touchscreens. First, what's your guest's favorite color? Because with RGB courtesy lighting and all the cup holders, you have a vast array of options. Now that we've made our way back to the helm, you'll have your dual link panorama screens with your vitals on your left and then your command center on your right screen, as well as a mouse trackpad on the right by the throttle, if you choose to navigate that way. And hey, it might be time to pull a wake surfer now, so let's go through our profiles, pick the right one. Let's do wake surf. Let's take a look at the settings, make sure they're to our liking. If your wake surfer wants to tweak or adjust the wave shape, it's as simple as adjusting it on your link panorama screen and voila. And let's not let the hand craftsmanship go unnoticed because every inch of this boat has been well thought out on the design. Last but not least, you'll find a custom casing for the JL Audio Tower speakers, and there's a dual ported wake sub in the back of the boat. If you have any other questions on the types of boats in these videos, please do not hesitate to contact me direct at 512-774-0866. Otherwise, you can find the links for the other videos in this series in the description below. This is Tom Kenotech signing off. I will catch you here in the store next time. If not, on the lake.